I'm AJ Ootman, and if I were talking to someone who's a closeted Adventist, I would tell you, I'm telling you, to write down all the ways that God has shown you that you are loved without reservation. Uh, I remember when I was coming out and just struggling with a lot of things, a friend told me, write down all the ways that God has shown you that God's been there for you. And I wrote them down and I was shocked to find, I had 30 things of times when people would come at just the right time, or I got this information that helped me so much, or a song would play, uh, so many things, some that just seemed completely unexplained. And it helped me realize that um, if I were to remove the part of me that's gay, that would also remove so many things about myself that I love, because I love myself. And that's why I see my being gay as one of the greatest gifts God has ever given me. Uh, because of that, I live completely free in every aspect of my life. I uh, do exactly what I want to do. I'm a filmmaker. I always wanted to make films. Um, I'm an activist. I have amazing friends. And I live true to myself because of that process of coming out. Uh, being gay also forced me to not just read the Bible on the surface, but to dive deep into its context. And, you know, I remember as a kid um, in, in Sabbath school, always saying, man, I just, we all wished, everyone in my Sabbath school, that the church could be a place where people were real, where people were authentic. And now that I'm 28, I will attend these Adventist Sabbath schools and I feel like we're still having that conversation. And that's why I'm convinced that the LGBT community is God's gift to the church to teach it how to be authentic. That's our gift, is to teach people how to be honest. And for me, the final thing that's so amazing about being gay is I run into couples all the time who are just wondering, you know, do you love me? Do you not? Like, did you really fight for me? Whatever, all these questions. And I know that if I'm fortunate enough to ever have a husband and kids, I'll be able to tell them, of course I love you. I risked at the time what I thought was my whole world for you. And I know that anyone who's been in love knows that there is no nobler an aim to fight for and to live for than love.